to the next session of finite element analysis. I am solving a question on shape function which was derived by natural coordinate system and I had derived for quadratic element in the previous session. So I am going to use those formulas for calculation here. Let's read the question. Coordinates of the nodes of a finite element are given by a 4 comma 0 and b 8 comma 0. So I have an element one end a is 4 comma 0 and the other end b is 8 comma 0. Find the expression of x in terms of zeta when third node c is taken at 6 comma 0 and in the second case third node c is taken at 5 comma 0. So I will write here that this is case 1. So my c is at 6 comma 0. Comment on your answer. This is what I am supposed to do. Now let's start with this. I already know x is x1 phi1 plus x2 phi2 plus x3 phi3. Now since there are three nodes here, so I am using up to x3 phi3. Here I know x1 is 4. This is my second node if you recollect. So my x2 is 8 and my x3 is 6. I know the formula of phi 1 from the derivation is 1 by 2 zeta into zeta minus 1. Phi 2 I had got as zeta phi 2 into 1 plus zeta and phi 3 I had obtained as 1 minus zeta square. So I will substitute here therefore x is equal to x1 is 4 into 1 by 2 zeta into zeta minus 1 plus x2 which is 8 then I have into zeta by 2 and 1 plus zeta and last I have plus 6 into 1 minus zeta square. Now let me open the brackets here 2 gets cancelled so I have 2 zeta square minus 2 zeta. Next I have 4 zeta plus 4 zeta square and here I have 6 minus 6 zeta square. 2 zeta and 4 zeta add up to 6 zeta and I have minus 6 zeta so they get cancelled out. Minus 2 zeta plus 4 zeta is making it plus 2 zeta and this is the only term left so 2 zeta and I have plus 6. Therefore my x in terms of zeta gives me this equation. Next we will go to case 2 where my c will have coordinate 5 comma 0. So let me write down case 2. I will draw the same diagram. A is 4 comma 0. B is 8 comma 0. C is 5 comma 0. I will be using the same equation. X is x1 phi1 plus x2 phi2 plus x3 phi3. Now here I will directly write down x1 is 4 x3 is 5, x2 is 8. So 4 into half, I'll take from here, zeta, zeta minus 1. Then I have from here plus 8. And in the bracket I have zeta by 2, 1 plus zeta. And lastly plus 5 into 1 minus zeta square. Now let's open the bracket. This gets cancelled, so I get 2 zeta square minus 2 zeta plus this is again 4 so 4 zeta plus 4 zeta square plus 5 minus 5 zeta square now here I have 4 zeta square plus 2 zeta square making it to 6 zeta square and minus 5 so this will be zeta square these two will add up to plus 2 zeta and this term remains so I have x as zeta square plus 2 zeta plus 5. Now if you compare the two answers of case 1 and case 2, you can see that this is a linear equation which I had obtained or a linear relationship. Here you can see it's a quadratic relationship. It was asked that I am supposed to comment on the answer. So I can just say that when c is at 6 comma 0, I get a linear relationship. When c is at 5 comma 0, I get a quadratic relationship. So with this, I end the session. I hope you have understood the numerical. If you have any doubts, please write to me in the comment section. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.